Hi guys, I'm Shlomik from Job Test Prep, and in this video we're going to talk about the Elevator Industry Aptitude Test, also known as the EIAT. The EIAT test is the initial screening stage for candidates applying to work in the elevator industry. The test is a pen and paper test and is based on multiple choice questions. To pass the EIAT, you need to get a score of 70%. Any applicant with a score of 69% or lower will need to reapply in the next application date and retake the examination. The test contains three sections with 30 to 35 questions each. Math, verbal reasoning, and mechanical aptitude. So let's go briefly over these sections and what they include. In the math section, also referred to as the computational ability section, you will have to perform basic mathematic calculations. The section covers subjects as addition, subtraction, multiplication and division, converting fractions to decimals and vice versa, etc. This isn't high level math. The main issue here is that you need to work fast and error free while calculating. Now you should know that earlier versions of the EIAT included more complex subjects like polynomials, equations and functions. However, the test was revised in 2018 and now focuses solely on simple calculations. In the verbal reasoning section of the exam, you will be challenged to demonstrate a good understanding of English. Questions in this section may come in two forms. Vocabulary questions deal with understanding single words in various contexts, whereas sentence completion words are a bit more complex and deal with figuring out sentence structures and completing missing words based on context. The mechanical aptitude section will cover your knowledge and basic physical principles. There are four main types of questions in this section. Gears questions will present you with combinations of gears and racks and will normally ask things like in which direction does gear X rotate or which gear rotates faster, A or B. In wheels questions, you will normally need to understand the relationship between things like wheel size and speed, rotational and linear velocity, etc. Pulley questions are a bit more sophisticated and will normally ask which pulley requires more force to lift the load. Force and torque are questions that deal mostly with levers, structures, and work-related scenarios like turning a screw or lifting a hammer. You've passed your EIAT. Congratulations! What's next? Well, your road to an apprenticeship in the elevator industry isn't over when the test is done. There are two more stages ahead, the tool recognition test and the interview. If you want to learn more about these two sections and how to succeed in them, or to know more about the EIAT itself, have a look at our preparation pack. That's all friends, I hope you've enjoyed and learned. Now it's your turn to practice. Good luck.